with this nail uh, being concerning but not actually making it through and something like this with the mud grappler you are not going to have a problem like that thing could go into the tread what's up guys we've had these nitto ridge grapplers on my wife's forerunner for about two years and uh, when i picked them up i got a set of five so that i would have a spare but they are 285s which is a little bit bigger than uh, i think 255 or 265 that came on it so it wouldn't fit uh, underneath the spare uh, in the tr trunk area back there i didn't even try but um i've had this fifth tire sitting in the shed for two years kind of waiting for you know if we got a flat well we finally got a nail in the uh, driver's side front tire uh, after two years of trouble free ownership and it's not even leaking but my wife noticed the nail um, and she's not like the most observant with the car so she definitely was like if i'm seeing this nail it's definitely gonna you know worry me until we get it out so uh, my plan is to go ahead and add this new tire into the rotation uh, pull this nail out and then patch it uh, we're actually going to drop it off at my favorite local tire place uh, where i've been getting all my stuff done lately and uh, we'll see if we can see how big this nail is because i'm pretty impressed that we're not getting a tire pressure light or anything um, it seems like if anything it may have lost like two or three psi so i don't know if we didn't make it all the way through if it's a little stubby nail or what but it has a real fat head on it so i'm gonna show you a closer look at it so as y'all can see uh, we went with the non-traditional sidewall of the ridge grappler this is what most people put out and you can see if i spin it around let's see if i can do it with one hand here this is the side that my wife likes better uh, and that we ended up putting on the outside so you can kind of see that there um, and over two years these have had pretty even wear uh, you can see the nail is right here big guy right there so definitely concerning uh, and the way these things are wearing pretty evenly and smoothly i don't think it's going to be a huge deal to put this brand new one on you can see they definitely look uh, more fresh than this but it's really really not crazy crazy different and uh we're going to put it on the front you know with this being a rear wheel drive car shouldn't be an issue but we'll see if it's noticeably bigger or anything with it mounted but that's the plan otherwise this thing is just going to sit here uh being a brand new spare and i'm not going to be able to use it once these get more worn down so i'm going to start um, putting this one into the rotation we'll keep this one as a spare and uh, have a patch on it and got to show off my wife's new plate she's repping the graps plate i've got uh, graps with one p on my bronco and my personalized plate has like the little surfer dude on it uh, for florida having all these options we are taking advantage of that uh, we love repping nitto on our plate it's kind of something we've always done i've got grap king and nitto different ones i've done over the years so uh, she helps out with grapaholics a lot and it's cool she can represent that there as well as with her chrome decal that uh, just came out we're going to be selling those uh, this saturday if y'all are watching this new september 24th is uh, about the time this video is coming out uh, maybe soon after so check those out a lot of people have been asking about the chrome ones we use the font that they use on the trail grapplers all right we just dropped off the forerunner here at tire outlet uh, we're going to take the bronco out do a little shopping uh, so the forerunner's in good hands and we'll check back with you it has been a beautiful day been running around i'm getting a little sunburnt went to the beach earlier this morning but i wanted to show y'all uh, these ridge grapplers here while i'm waiting for them to finish up i came back and uh, they actually had the uh, wrong side out which i said this is the side that everybody likes better and they just instinctively put that one uh, out but like i said my wife actually likes the uh, more plain jane side i don't know if you can see it that well here but i showed y'all earlier but here's a set of 35 1250 20s they've got sitting right out front here thought that was pretty cool uh, as well as the mud grapplers that are back here i'll show you all those in a second uh, but this is the nail they pulled out of my wife's tire you can see that's a solid inch or so and uh, it made its way in between the actual tread lugs i think we would have been totally fine if it was out here but since it was down in between i was worried that it made its way through sorry i'm holding this all crooked but yeah that guy uh, didn't give us a flat but it was concerning enough to go ahead and uh, put the other you know totally new spare on there so uh, we'll see i'm gonna take a look see how much newer that tire looks maybe it will be noticeable maybe not let me know what y'all think let's take a look at these mud graphs because those are my favorite tires that nitto makes and if you haven't figured out now that i am totally obsessed with nitto i've had probably probably 15 vehicles maybe since i started driving and uh probably twice as many maybe three times as many sets of nitto tires 
I never had a flat. I have had a couple flats in my other brands of tires. My uh, first gen Cummins came with some Falcon Wild Peaks on it. Got a flat on that. Uh, my little Toyota over here. Um, I think I put on my story a while back that uh, I had a total like delamination. My tread blew off and uh, actually smacked my fender well pretty well uh, on my way to work. So no issues with the Nittos yet. I wanted to kind of highlight that with this nail uh, being concerning but not actually making it through. And something like this with the mud grappler, you are not going to have a problem. Like that thing could go into the tread and uh, and not even make it all the way through, in my opinion. Because uh, I've definitely pulled some out and had no leaks with the mud graps. That's one thing I like about them. Uh, and you can see this is, uh, while we're talking about sidewalls, this is the smooth side that not a lot of people run. Uh, whereas the other side has this uh, skin kind of pattern to it, like the, uh, the dinosaur look they're going for with these. So... Uh, that's the tire I chose for uh, my logo and everything that I use on the Instagram and TikTok and uh, now my t-shirts. I'll show you all the back of this sometime. But uh, I'm pretty excited about the mud graps. I'm uh, running those on my Bronco and then I've got trail grapplers going on my project truck right now. So a lot of exciting stuff, but I'm curious what y'all's favorite Nitto is or if you have another uh, brand tire that you like more. A uh, place like this carries pretty much everything. Um, but I'm a Nitto guy and they got them right out front, right by the front door. I thought that was pretty cool. The, uh, the two Nittos there, definitely in the fore, forefront. Uh, you got something here like the Yoko, Yokohamas. Uh, this is a decent looking tire too. Definitely feels uh, a lot firmer of a tread. A little bit like more plasticky feeling. I don't know, just first impressions. But I have seen Yokohama does have a tire that looks just like a mud grappler now, which I'm a little offended by, but some people like it. Uh, so I'd like to hear y'all's opinion on that. Also, we got the new Nitto Recon Grapplers over here. I uh, put a set of these on my buddy's uh, 6.7 Power Stroke. He's got a uh, black uh, truck that we made a video about, 37s on his. Uh, we got probably like a 35 sitting here. Oh, no, nope, these are 37s as well. 37, 37, 12, 50, 20. I think that's the same size he put on there. Uh, so those are really cool too. Nice, um, aggressively deep tread but it's not too spread out. So you end up, uh, you know, with really quiet tires that last a long time. So that's another cool one, very similar to the Ridge Grappler, but maybe slightly less aggressive, slightly less sidewall going on. And uh, these have two different sidewalls as well. You might be able to see in that light, but yeah, just, I'm a total Nitto nerd. I actually, there's a truck on Ridge Graps over here. Let me show you all that real quick. I think this is one of the guys that works here. I uh, heard just picked up this truck. It's got 35, 12, 50, 20 Nittos on it. Uh, looks like some 20 by 12s, maybe 20 by 10s. Pretty clean, doesn't stick out too much. Nice ranch hand on the front. Uh, I post a lot of ranch hands. That's just the one that covers up the stock bumper instead of the replacement, but clean little truck. A lot of people running Nittos. I just found out my man that's helping with the tire right now, that's his new truck. He uh, just bought it like a week or so ago he's throwing this new tire on here so we'll probably check it out a little bit closer all right so he just unlocked it so i could peek in uh this is a 2016 with like 150,000 miles uh it's a pretty basic work truck but um i mean for that mileage this is a pretty clean clean rig with a nice little setup on it and uh he's got like mid 20s in it 20 something thousand the way the market's been uh that's pretty freaking solid i feel like yeah, 150,000 miles. Uh, I think he, it's about 25,000 is what he paid for it, sounds like. I don't know if he wanted me to tell you all that, but uh, I'm very open about what I pay for stuff. And uh, he just told me too. So I think that is a nice truck, you know, with a 6.7 diesel, it's full wheel drive. Uh, I see a BMW set up here. So I think he's got at least a gooseneck. And uh, it's, just, it's just a nice, nice rig. It's got potential for sure. You could, um, you know, put some stocks and graphs on it what is this thing he's got like some kind of helper spring in here that's pretty intense i've never seen one exactly like that that's cool though and uh yeah sure start it up if you feel like it yeah i'm a big 6.7 guy Right there, I only see one little dent right there. I'm gonna try to buy it from him, he'll sell it to me. That thing's nice. 
pipe on it, definitely yeah. ETR. Yeah, I sold mine a while back and I've got one that I'm working on, but it's not uh, in driving condition right now, so I miss these freaking things. Oh, Being all, man. you know, just the power of that 6.7, you just can't beat it. Man, you know? I'll tell you what, you turn that over, you put it to the floor, it'll yeah. put you in the seat. Oh yeah, I can believe that for sure. I've had a couple of them and uh, just from the, how this thing sounds, I can tell it's right. I love these things. Yeah, that's great. Definitely some uh, aftermarket intercooler pipe in here. The plastic one always cracks on those. I do the, I blew mine up on my 11 and I had no power at all. Yeah, my truck, I couldn't hardly get home. I cracked the boot and it wouldn't go back on. And then I I put one like this on it, and then that's a cool air intake, it looks like. Uh, what is that, S&B or something? I want to say it is. Man. Yeah, it's got an S&B. I put one of those on mine. And then eventually I ended up getting a whole piping kit and a new turbo and I got rid of all that. Uh, but this is this was a really nice setup for a while. You're not gonna have any problems with that. That's that's nice it all came with that, you know? And I love the ranch am too. Alright we'll do a quick little walk around here. Oh, I got the new tire on the other side. This thing has been used and abused. You see I got this freaking thing sticking up right here. I didn't even see that before. I don't know what's going on there, but we uh, put a ton of miles on this thing since we've had it. It's got this like clear film at the bottom that's all black. I need to clean up. Um, but you know, we just kind of get in it and drive it. We haven't really done anything to it. And that nail of the tire has been the first thing. And just to be on the safe side, we went ahead and threw the spare on. And uh, with it on here now, it, uh, it looks about the same as the others. I don't think we're gonna have any any concerns about that one being brand new and the other one's having 20,000 miles because these have held up so well. So just wanted to show you all that and uh, get your opinion on it as well. Even though this tire is brand new, it has been uh, passed around my two different sheds that I've lived in since I bought it. And uh, it's also sat out on the ground at some point. You can see it just kind of has some, some film on it that is uh, kind of bonded to it. It's a little bit hard to get off and it just generally needs a clean up. So we're gonna get it shined up real quick with some of the uh, Zephyr polishes that I use. I'll show you all that real quick. I've got some of their uh, soap that is just general like car washing soap. I'm gonna do that with a nylon brush and uh, their little foaming applicator. And then I uh, will clean it up with just some of their tire shine. Nothing too crazy, but just wanna show you all the process. The uh, other tires already look way better, but I'm gonna go ahead and get these shined up as well so they all look nice. Just wanted to mention this is the brush I use for dirtier stuff like this for cleaning tires and four wheeler and stuff. I would not uh, use this kind of bristle brush on your paint and I definitely do not do that. Um, some of y'all may have heard, you know, you go to the car wash that you do it yourself and they have these brushes like this. Uh, the soap comes out of the end of them. That's no good because everybody uh, comes through there at night with their muddy trucks and just gets them all full of grit and then uh, it sands your paint all down and you get all kinds of swirl marks in it. Another thing I don't like is the automatic car washes that do all the uh, touching, you know, like the, the non-touch free ones that have the big wheels that come by and, and smack the car around and everything. Well, my wife just went through one of those because it was free and she was like, you haven't washed my car in a while, so I'm gonna go through it anyway. And uh, it didn't do the best job. There's definitely some marks in the paint, uh, not really in the paint, but like the hood's still dirty. And uh, this, I think, is just a dirty mark, but it might have actually scratched it right there. So um, this is just a car we, you know, go get groceries with and drive a lot. But uh, some of the nicer vehicles that we've had definitely don't want to take through a car wash. I think that uh, one of those car washes is how we ended up with something like this here where it scratched it. But uh, those are my, that's my two cents on car washes. Uh, also, I'm going to show you the car wash you did go through put tire shine on it. I'm doing quotation marks, tire shine uh, on the tires for her. And uh, they look pretty decent, but I'm gonna show you how much better the Zephyr stuff looks uh, once I finish this one up, which was a dirty tire. We're gonna get it nice and clean, and then I'm gonna go ahead and put the Zephyr tire shine on everything, make it all match, because it's gonna be a lot better. Now that that's had time to dry, you can see it still kind of has some oxidation on it, and it kind of rubs off with your finger, but it is uh, 
Still a little grimy looking, but we're gonna go ahead and hit it with this uh, Zephyr's Tire Shine. It's their Pro 39 Ultima. Uh, it's pretty good for plastics and tires and pretty much anything you wanna shine up. I just hit it with a microfiber and also wiped off the overspray off the wheels, which speaking of which, these wheels definitely have some pitting and uh, don't look the best, but like I said, this is just a grocery gooder that we drive all over the place. So there's a look at that tire now that it's been shined up with Zephyr polishes versus this one that just got car wash, um, like whatever their generic tire shine was on it, like two days ago. You can kind of see already. Uh, I'm gonna let this one on the front dry some more to get a better example, but uh, it is looking way better, like just like a brand new tire. Whereas this one has some kind of spotty, uh, weird shininess to it that uh, has already faded off, honestly, after a couple days. So I'll give you all a little update on that in a second, but I'm really happy with how this stuff shines up. And I wanted to show you all um, just a regular rig like this that it uh, makes a little bit of an improvement front tire is pretty well dry now and you can see it just looks brand new i uh, was a little concerned about how stuck on that grime was but the tire shine seemed to kind of overcome it and uh, looks way better than the other one i'm going to go ahead and put it on the rest so that i don't have one shiny new tire and the rest faded and i'll show you all that but i think they're all going to match really well this stuff is not overbearingly you know shiny it just makes them look brand new and that's what i like about it got the rest of the tire shined up now and i wanted to go ahead and mention that if you want uh, some of this tire shine or some car wash soap or anything that zephyr makes uh, i do have a discount code to share with y'all it's uh grapaholic 22 for 15 percent off of zephyrpro40.com i've been uh, using zephyr polishes for a while reached out to them got a discount code for you guys so if you guys want to use that um check it out let me know what you think of the products uh, they have all kinds of stuff for polishing you know forged wheels and you know a lot of metal polishing products uh, they make a lot of stuff for 18 wheelers but um, I started using them when I had a big lifted truck and I just fell in love with their stuff and I use it on the daily drivers and everything I'm gonna end up cleaning up the little Toyota pickup sometime soon too uh, but they got all kinds of good stuff check them out Thank y'all for checking out this video about my wife's Ridge Grapplers. Been really satisfied with those tires so far, but as y'all know, uh, I like all of the Nitto Grappler tires. So I've got the Mud Grapplers on my Bronco, and we actually just picked up this Ford Excursion that I'm giving y'all a real quick sneak peek of. I uh, got some moderate plans for that, but I would like to know y'all's opinion on which um, Nitto Grappler tires to put on this thing. I'm going to be doing some towing with it is the plan. Um, a lot of my project trucks have been just sitting waiting for me to build a shop and I may have to relocate them. So we're going to have a video all about that coming soon. Wanted to give you all a sneak peek of that here first. Uh, also wanted to thank everybody that has checked out the Grappaholics Instagram, the private Facebook group, which is where I'm selling my decals uh, as of right now, working on our website. And also I've got a TikTok now that's actually doing kind of well. Some people are liking some of the stuff I put on there. So thank you all so much. I really appreciate y'all and stay tuned for the next one.